Hi diddly ho, it's Brett Stone. Wanted to do a shout out video um, for three channels essentially. Uh, the first two are having giveaways and uh, so I wanted to draw your attention to them. One is uh, J-Rod Collections, good channel. Um, I'm fairly new to it, but uh, checked out a couple of his videos and uh, was impressed. Uh, I'll leave a link to his uh, holiday giveaway, I think he's calling it, J-Rod's 2020 holiday giveaway. Um, so check that out. And um, I want to give one more shout out uh, to a giveaway, and then I want to uh, discuss some hobby talk, some thoughts that I have related to another video um, that I watched today. But um, the other giveaway channel is Hedgehog. Um, I think he's uh, around 150 subscribers. Um, and he was having what he's calling a subscriber appreciation giveaway. I've been subscribed to his channel for a while. He has some really good content. So I would urge you to get over there, check him out, and maybe enter his uh, subscriber appreciation giveaway. Now, um, to why I was uh, mainly going to do this video tonight was um, All Time Greats blog is, uh, is a channel that you need to check out as well. I will put a, a link to his channel in the description. Victor um, has an excellent channel, good content if you really are into rookie cards um, and the driving force I think that they are behind the hobby. Um, if you've collected for a long time or even recently, um, you you know what um, rookie cards mean to to the baseball card or sports card hobby. Um, and Victor's channel, I, I don't know that it gets enough attention. You guys should really check it out. I went back and looked at uh, almost all of his videos and was somewhat, you know, pretty impressed. Um, uh, it was probably a couple of weeks ago when I first subscribed. Anyhow, um, this latest video that I'll leave a link to, um, he discusses the hobby, um, and uh, he, he made a statement or repeated a statement of the hobby decides what a rookie card is. Um, and the other statement was something along the lines of, well, we never, the hobby will never come to a consensus of what a rookie card is. Um, and the frustration that that, that produces. Um, he points out that if, if we would all just follow the rules that the MLBPA put into place uh, several years ago, um, that that would help. And that if people would follow those guidelines that, um, you know, at least we could point to something and say, this is what a, a rookie card truly is. Um, I tend to agree with him that, you know, that the hobby really doesn't dictate what a rookie card is. That you and I may have differing opini opinions and, um, you know, ultimately each one of us would say certain cards are rookie cards that others may not agree are rookie cards. So, um, in that way, I see a need for more clarification on this topic. Um, I will continue to purchase cards that I like. I will do it based off of the teams that I like. And um, I'm a collector, not an investor, not a flipper. Um, I do like that the cards have value, and I do pay attention to the values, uh, the money values uh, that are put on certain cards. However, I enjoy cards just like this one here, this Sean Kemp. Uh, by the way, this is a new holder that I got. 
um, at our at my local card shop, um, and I'm just I just love this thing. I love that holder. Um, I love the way Sean Kemp played basketball, but when you put this card here in, in that holder, it's worthy of display. Anyway, back to the topic. Um, for me, the value comes from uh, the joy of having the card, the connection that card uh, gives me. It's the card that I had when I was a kid or that I wanted when I was a kid and I couldn't get. Um, or it's got a design similar to the designs of back when I opened packs as a youngster. Um, for me, it's not, uh, at this point in my collecting career, it's not the newest or the hottest trends or players or PSA 10 um, that, that turns me on about baseball cards. Um, it's the value based off yes the players and how they play or what what they may play like you know I, I still do collect some of the newer players and um, and hope that they they do well and um, you know that they have great careers but um, I've learned to collect the players that I enjoyed watching as a kid or even currently that uh, bring me more joy um, because of who they are and how well they play and then uh, the way that they played the game. Um, and then as far as the card itself, it doesn't have to say RC on the card um, to be a rookie card. Uh, even the newer cards, in my mind, uh, sometimes I um, would dispute um, whether or not certain cards are rookie cards or not, to me it's more important um, that is, you know, one of the first cards is them as a player, um, that they're in the team uniform, um, and um, it's on a on a licensed product. Um, so I, I've had a hard time dealing with the Panini thing, um, the non-logo sports cards. Um, I understand why there needs to be a structure to this and why there needs to be a de definition of rookie cards. I wish there was a body that represented collectors um, so that we could get our opinions out there and get that into um, the the structure or the rules that may be put in place. Um, so uh, I would be curious to know what you guys think. So go ahead and make comments below. Um, check out Victor's channel. Again, it's All Time Greats blog. Uh, subscribe to his channel. Check out his content. Um, be active in the card community. And uh, uh, I hope everybody has a blessed day and stay safe.